Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Ray. This is your Ash Kim. So today I have come up with an interesting topic, storytelling. Yes, when I say storytelling, I think uh, everyone would have gone back to their childhood memories where we used to listen stories from our grandparents, uh, friends, par uh, parents and all that, right? Yes, so it's the topic that actually... Uh, instills a sense of curiosity in each of us to learn something new or to know about something right so today i'm going to focus on what are the benefits of telling stories to your kids okay so how is it going to help uh, though we say it is one of the uh, most engaging activity for the kids and we use it mostly as a bedtime routine but i would say it has numerous other benefits and i would really suggest that you if you can involve your child in the process of storytelling and make it more interactive during the uh, whatever whenever you get a time so whenever possible if you are able to engage your child also in the uh, storytelling process in other times of that day then that is gonna get you a good amount of benefits okay so let's look at each of them so first i would say the listening skills so you know whenever a child listens to a story okay so it's not just the listening skill that has been improved okay so what happens is child listen you know waits for the other person to speak okay so they get to know that there is another person speaking and they just have to pay attention to what the other person is saying okay it's not just the words uh, you know it also increases their vocabulary the language and all that okay so they have a better understanding of the language and in vocabulary and the words are not just giving them information it's actually bringing alive some new situations and new meanings to their life so read a book to your child or engage them in a storytelling activity that would definitely enhance your listening skills and the next one is imagination so uh, why do i say it as a storytelling or a reading a book to us to uh, no reading a book to a child uh, we do get so many stories that is available right now in online okay maybe uh, uh, the moral stories any time any type of stories or the cartoon animations cartoon stories all that is available but uh what's the difference between telling a story uh, and or reading out a story is that you know it actually creates a wider space for imagination for a child okay so whenever there we say there is a old man with a gray hair and a hunchback and a walking stick you know uh, we describe certain things so what kids do you know they try to use those adjectives or use those words to uh, design their own old man okay they give life to an person uh, we say gray but we don't say to what extent that is gray or uh, what type of uh, walking stick that is gonna hold but all that is up to the creativity of the child so what they do is they try to put up informations to fill in the gaps that is being told by the story and they try to imagine in a better space so there is no like a barrier that this is what i am supposed to imagine as you know imagination has no boundaries so that is gonna enhance or foster imagination in our kids okay also it you know uh, increases their willingness to express the things okay so they have no okay okay yeah 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 what what kind of shoe was he wearing you know because they're trying to imagine that person so when there is a grandpa okay what color shirt was he wearing or if you are not saying they try to fill in that gap so it forces the imagination and the third one is building up of social skills so when i say about social skills it's not just um, you know storytelling is not just encouraging to listen to others okay but all other times it is also they tend to be more patient allowing others to speak and understand what they are speaking uh maybe interpretation might come in a uh, uh, later part of the life but they try to concentrate on what is being said and then they try to build up on that so whether it's something uh, provided to the child uh, they learn from it build on that they know how to take a turn how how they have to wait for a person to complete and then build up on it and as a, a storytelling activity they uh, tend to wait together and listen to the story and that builds up their social skills and sharpening memory yes whenever you tell a story to a child you know uh, they start imagining as i was saying earlier so they just tend to imagine the characters important things and all that and when you ask them about the stories 
they would be able to recall it much 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 better than the other concepts i would say because this is something that they are interested and that is going to instill the curiosity in them okay because they are going to imagine so it is easy for them even a two year child can actually tell the important characters at least what they have read you know listen to a story they say at least there was an elephant there was a water there was a crow something of that sort so it actually sharpens their memory because it they pay attention to it and the other important thing is the values yes so a uh, telling stories will allow our child to experience different types of worlds so you no know, different places that story is happening different kinds of traditions and different kind of cultures that has been followed you know it also a develop a sense of empathy see there is a uh, boy who met with an accident or he just fell down so feeling pity for him so, so they try to uh, relate their feelings to the feeling of that particular child the moral value is been inculcated into them okay so it instills the moral values and overall it makes the enjoyable experience for learning yes so they learn the language they learn the uh, feelings uh, emotions all that and that is easy for them to uh, learn other concepts as well so whenever you teach a concept it is also good that if you can engage you know uh, incorporate a story to deliver that particular concept because that is going to make it more enjoyable experience for the child to learn so i hope you have liked all this video because there are like six benefits but actually there are many more to go but i don't want to focus many of that so just a gist of it so just try engaging your child with all the storytelling activities whenever possible in your day as we are all locked down in this time it's it would be very effective if you can tell a story to your child on an everyday basis okay thank you for watching this video spread the rays and if you like this video please do like comment and subscribe our channel thank you so much